Shirk is a major sin that has engulfed the Muslim Ummah. There are people who are constantly warning Muslims of Shirk and others either criticizing them or even ways calling the general Muslims towards Shirk. We hear this criticism again and again. Why do you keep talking about Shirk? Can't you talk about general agreed Islamic topics? Why do you keep splitting people up? So these are the criticisms that we always find. So what is Shirk and is it really a small topic that should be brushed under the carpet so that the Muslim Ummah can be united? In Islam, Shirk means associating a partner or rival to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in either his lordship, worship or in his names and attributes. Point number one to note is that Shirk is a great sin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala quotes the advice given by Luqman to his son. Ya Bunayya, la tushrik billah. O my son, don't commit shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna shirka la bulmun adeem. For verily shirk is a great injustice. So you might ask the question, why is it a great injustice? The reason for that is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who creates us. He is the one who sustains us. He is the one who answers our prayers. He is the one who actually protects us. He gives us everything that we ask for. Yet, some of us are still committing partners with Him, associating partners with Him. We are committing shirk with Allah SWT. Is there a more great injustice than this? Point number two is that shirk will never be forgiven. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in Surah An-Nisa, Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bi. Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive the partners of associated with him. وَيَغْفِرُ مَا دُونَ ذَلِكَ And he will forgive what is less than that. لِمَنْ يَشَاء For whoever he wishes. وَمَنْ يُشْرِبْ بِاللَّهِ And whoever commits shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala فَقَدْ اِفْتَرَى اِثْمًا عَظِيمًا Then verily he has fabricated a tremendous sin. So basically if a person commits shirk in this life, and he repents, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah will forgive him. However, if he dies upon shirk without repenting, and he meets Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive this sin. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive any of the sins through his infinite mercy, but shirk he will not forgive. Point number three is that if you commit shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then all your good deeds will be wiped away. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-An'am mentions the name of 18 of his prophets. And then he says, وَلَوْ أَشْرَكُوا If these prophets had committed shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if they had committed shirk, لَحَبِطَ عَنُّ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ Then verily we would have wiped away what they used to do. I.e. their good deeds, they would have been wiped away. Also, he says in Surah Al-Zumar addressing the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, وَلَقَدْ أُوحِيَ إِلَيْكَ وَإِلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ Verily, it has been revealed to you like it was revealed to those before you. لَإِنْ أَشْرَكْتَ If you commit shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, لَيَحْفَطَ نَعَمَلُكَ Then your good deeds will be wiped away. They'll be weightless. وَلَتَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ And you will surely be of those who are the losers on the day of judgment. So obviously, those people whose good deeds have been wiped away on the day of judgment, they will be the losers. Imagine all your ibadats that you've done, the charity that you've given, the hajj, the umrah, the qiyam al-layl, the night prayers, the fasting, everything that you've done, all the effort that you put in in this life. Imagine if you commit shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all this will be wiped away. Then obviously that person it will be the loser on the day of judgment. Point number four, is that whoever commits shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden paradise for him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Ma'idah, quoting the Prophet Isa alayhi salam, where he says, إِنَّهُ مَنْ يُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ Verily, whoever commits shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, فَقَدْ حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ الْجَنَّةِ Then verily, Allah has made paradise haram for that person, has made it forbidden for him. وَمَعْوَاهُ النَّارِ and uh, hellfire will be his refuge. 
ansar. And verily for the wrongdoers, there will be no helpers. So from this we find that whoever commits shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then he will never ever be able to go to paradise because that will be forbidden for him. And his abode will be hellfire. Point number five, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent all his prophets to the nations warning the people of shirk. He says, وَلَكَدْ بَعَثَنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةِ الرَّسُولَةِ Verily we sent to every nation a messenger. And what did the messenger say? أَنِعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَجِتَانِبُ الطَّاغُوتِ And the messenger said, Worship Allah and keep away from Tawood. Now Tawood, like uh, some of the scholars have mentioned, like Imam Malik, rahimullah, is anything which is worshipped besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the Tawood. As we have seen from the ayats of the Quran that committing shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a great sin. It's such a big sin that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never forgive it on the day of judgment. The person who commits this sin will never enter paradise and their abode will be the hellfire and also their good deeds will be wiped away. So therefore it is very very important for us to keep away from shirk by learning what is shirk. We need to understand this topic thoroughly. Now another way we can avoid ourselves from committing shirk is to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam mentions or calls upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Ibrahim. He says, Rabbi ja'al hadha al-balada amina wajlubni wa baniya na'bud al-asnaam. O my Lord, make this city secure and keep me and my sons away from worshipping idols. And also, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam instructed his ummah to make this dua which has been authenticated by Shaykh al-Bani rahimullah. And this dua is, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika an ushrika bika wa na'alam wa astaghfiruka lima la'alam. O oh Allah, I seek protection from you, I seek refuge from you, least I associate anything with you knowingly. And I seek your forgiveness for what I know not. Now it is also worth mentioning here that there are unfortunately certain Muslims that are going around propagating the false concept that the Prophet ﷺ has guaranteed that his ummah will never commit shirk. And they misquote a hadith to prove this bottle concept. The Prophet ﷺ in many a hadith of authentic ones predicted that the Muslim Ummah will commit shirk. And also he taught us this dua that I mentioned before. Now there are many types of shirk that are committed by the Muslim Ummah at the moment. I will not go too much into it and inshallah maybe in another sitting in the future we can discuss it but just to give you a few examples one of the greatest shirk that has been committed at the moment is by asking help from other than Allah. There are many Muslims who make dua to the people who have died. They sacrifice animals for them. They take oaths in their names. They seek their aid. They also fear them as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should be feared. And they also love them as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should be loved. May Allah protect the Muslim Ummah from committing shirk with him and give us the tawfiq to keep away from it. <laughs>